<laughs> all right welcome good day all right welcome loves welcome aries there it is <laughs> my kitties all right let's see what we have in store for aries collective all right i haven't done you guys in a while all right but i don't really get much you know it's like there's just certain zodiac signs i tend to channel more it's just like energy attracts certain energy right so Let's see what we got here for the Aries Collective. All right, let's do three more shuffles. All right. All right, there's one. Two. And number three. All right, so you're starting with the Ten of Wands. All right, I feel like, you know, I'm getting, like, even though it's showing the, the back, I'm getting more, like, chest, like, heaviness in the chest, almost like anxiety. Monkey on the back is how I view this, how I view the Ten of Wands. All right, it's just so much shit that you're carrying. And it feels like, I'm also getting, like, the weight of the world. Give me for the Ten of Wands here for the Aries collective for the Aries. Oh, God damn it. Just flip back. All right. Give me for the Ten of Wands for the Aries collective, please. All right. Oh, God, we have double tens. Oof, duh. I was just going <laughs> to... I was literally just going to freaking say, anytime it takes a minute for the cards to come out, it's usually something pretty epic. Something that's pretty freaking, like, important. All right? Not saying the whole message isn't important. It's just certain things really bring the message into fruition. So we have double tens here. The ten of swords can be a self-inflicting energy, like, almost as if, like, you created it yourself. Um, with your like mental thoughts here and then wow we have the death card here painful endings pain why do we got these double tens here why do we have double tens here for Aries what are you doing no, because it'll cool down after a little bit. It's tough it out. It's towards the end of the year. All right. Oh, come on. I just got a glimpse of the Justice card. All right. Maybe you're starting to understand the truth in life here. We have here the Five of Pentacles. We got a lot of, like, tens, fives. Break them tens down, right? Wow. So if you break these two tens down, what do you get? You get four fives, right? And then we have one five here. That's five fives. Conflicts. I feel like things are just getting really draining for you. All right, what in the hell was with that? All right, five of pentacles, ten of swords, ten of wands. There's a lot of heaviness here. We have here the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Eight of Swords. All right, some of you guys could be facing some type of like domestic issues. We have here the Four of Swords here. Yeah, you're in your thoughts big time. You're in your mind big time. I feel like something is like coming in and waking you up to the reality of a situation here. Maybe you're seeing a therapist and that's bringing out the reality of situations and it's getting painful, it's getting heavy, it's affecting you, all right? Maybe you need to abandon and leave something behind and not look back. What is going on here for Aries? We have here the Ten of Cups. All right, so, wow, and then we have the Three of Swords. 
You maybe you have to sever yourself from like a family member. Because with that justice card, it could be a family member that's a karmic. And in order to achieve ultimate happiness and fulfillment and emotional like stability and just bliss, you have to cut things out of your life. All right? You got to get rid of the pain, the trauma, the depression, whatever you're going through here and sever it. Whether it's a person or a mental illness or people that create mental illness, you need to you need to just let go of all that. Any past pains and just focus on, you know, forgiveness and moving on in life. Because it's Jesus. All right, let's try that again. See the King of Pentacles. Give me for the Three of Swords. Yeah, in order for things to turn in your life and to have a good shift and to get out of this, because I feel like even though the Ten of Swords is supposed to be a like a fast moving, like you're not in it a whole real long. I feel like you've been in it for quite a while with all these fives. And then we have here another three. We have here the three of cups. Yes, you need to just forgive and forget. All right, and move on and focus on good things. Yeah, look at that. You need to forgive. All right, and then we have the tower here. There you are, Aries. All right. You're strong enough to get through this. So if you've been wondering if you can do this, you can. All right, harness the energy of the strength card and your own energy. All right, discipline is key. All right, to mental health. And with the tower here, maybe there's like three people in your life or maybe it's you and two other people in your life that is creating a lot of chaos in your life. It's time to let this chapter of your life fall down so you can rebuild. All right, rebuild yourself up. All right, we have here the page of swords here with the world yeah look at that you're very restless about doing this but you need to keep pushing forward here with the knight of wands here and cut your losses and go towards your ultimate fulfillment your happiness all right so let's get this wrapped up here for aries here you're holding on with the four of pentacles and eventually you're going to break your back is going to break you're going to get stabs. There I saw you again with the fool. You need to take this leap of faith. All right. We have here the five of swords. You've been heavily manipulated. All right. You're feeling defeated, but you need to just let go and let God. All right. Let the creator. Okay. Because right now there's just too much shit going on. Yeah. You're getting granted an opportunity here. I feel like you have an opportunity to build with people who are going to be in your best interest here. Other fire signs are going to be that, um, obviously. But I also feel like you're going to get in, like, you're going to see opportunities come in. All right. You're going to see your life change for the better. There's a major shift going on. I know a lot of people have been going through this, and cancer season was a bitch for a lot of people. And, uh... I just saw the Empress and the Justice card. So maybe you're dealing with a motherly figure here. That's a karmic. You need to bring balance into your life. Truth and clarity and fairness. And we have here, yeah, see we have here the Queen of Swords. Give me for the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Libran. You know that or that's your polar opposite when it comes to energy. We have here the King of Pentacles. Earth sign. What is going on here?
What is going on here? So maybe you need to reconcile with mother, father. We have here the eight of cups. You need to leave things behind. All right, maybe you're stuck between a mother and a father, and you shouldn't have to be stuck between a mother and a father because I'm getting a youthful, ener younger energy with the pages here and then adults here. Um, we have the emperor, the empress. We have the king of swords, the king of pentacles. So, yeah, maybe you need to, like, just leave things behind. Maybe you're doing some self-discovery here. Um, but maybe you've been pinned between. You know, you see that a lot with children here in today's world where, you know, the children are pinned against parents. So it's about healing those wounds because it's creating a lot of problems in your life. All right, last card, please. The Five of Cups was trying to come out. We have here the Ace of Swords. You need to get clarity about what you need to cut out of your life, what is not good for you. All right, if you're with one parent more than the other, you may have been manipulated by that parent because that's what happens when you live with whatever parent you are with the most. You become that. All right. We have here the Queen of Wands. You're getting clarity. All right. You need to be confident here. Okay. I feel like you're going to eventually see things. You're going to, something's going to eventually click. Maybe it'll be this video. All right. Last card. I know I said that, but we have here. You're contemplating your feelings here. Doing a lot of contemplating. All right. We have here the five of wands over drama, conflicts, arguments. You could have been wounded by a motherly figure. And with the seven of pentacles and the knight of wands and the devil and the queen of cups, you know, I feel like you're not investing enough time in areas that are going to benefit you. You're focusing on things that are going to keep you down in the dumps. Low vibe, low vibe thoughts. Stuff like that, alright? Um, you may be watching these people, alright? But whatever it is, you need to reconcile and let go, alright? I'm going to leave that there. Have a good day.